I made this animation using AI tools. Let's first look, then briefly I describe how I made it only by AI images. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, what should I do? Flowers? Necklace? No. Sport shoes? I got an idea. Alina, today we need to go earlier. Thank you, David. I love you. Till now, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and like. Otherwise, I will take your pet. Go to Leonardo AI. From fine-tuned models, you can use what other users have modeled. But we are interested in our model. Click on training and datasets. Here you need to upload your images. How to get model images? I'm going to get images by Leonardo AI. You need to write a prompt here. Click on this small triangle to open all models. Click on 3D animation style. Leonardo style, just leave add elements. Later, I will explain negative prompt. Now I'm writing an animated Pixar character. Generate. Good. And this one. If I click another time, I will get something else. Before going ahead to make our models, I like to share one important tip and some tricks. In Google, type model training Leonardo AI and find this one. I say go and read carefully this article. This has good information about basic and what makes a good training run. They recommend to include between 8 to 15 images in your pre-training. Now the trick. In Google, just find an image of walking outside. Just download the image and after edit, add the image here. Now you see image guidance is on. If you click on this, you have access to turn it on and off. Generate. An animated character is generated by our guidance. Another trick. Go to perplexity or chat GPT to ask for a prompt. Give me a prompt for making an image of a Pixar animated character. Copy the prompt and paste in Leonardo AI. Okay. Since I have already a character in my mind, I will add my prompt here. Alex, a Pixar animated character, 30 years old, thin, yellow, etc. In negative prompt, write what you don't like to see. Generate. It's funny, it gave me two men. I'm telling you that the system here is somehow freaky. Don't be sad and just continue by trial and error. Now I'm changing the prompt to running outside. Not bad. Now I will add one character in my prompt as well and add sitting on a table. Cool. You see, I have not trained anything yet, but since I'm using the same prompt and same characteristics, I'm getting very similar face characters. When you have images enough, just download them and then go to training and datasets. New dataset, create dataset, dataset name, description, you can leave it or write what you like. Then upload images. And finally, train model. Base model will be a stable diffusion version 1.5 based on Leonardo AI recommendation. Instance prompt that is very important. 
write a special name and start training. It takes from 5 to 30 minutes or more. When it's done, go to the model section. At the bottom, you have select other model. Your models will generate with this model. So your model is called Alex and it's ready. Try to use the same settings as before and use the same prompts. Of course, you should play with different settings if needed. Bringing images to life. Use motion option. Upload your image. Select a motion strength. Something between 1 to 3 is good. But you should try, of course. Generate. Now you have your animation. How to bring two characters together. Go to Canvas Editor and upload your favorite image. But just another trick. Put this square here, right, fill the structure. Check the model is a stable diffusion 1.5 and generate. A complete body now. It's awesome, right? Let's bring another character. From your personal feed, select an image, click on these three dots, remove background. Very fast it will be done. Come here and choose no background. Download. Again, Canvas Editor. Now, upload the image you worked on. Now, easily, you can put it in the image. Talking model. Go to Google and type Vidnas. You can use any available AI avatar tool, but it should be free, right? Open the image that you worked on. Write your text, today is sunny, and then download. The resolution maybe is not excellent, but it's okay. Today is sunny. Another trick for image generation. Go to Canva, select Animify, choose your picture or image. This is a photo of real shoes, and then this. Awesome! Final product. In CapCut, import all your videos and images. Just for fun, I randomly put these files. But you should work hard on your frame themes and story. Good luck! Today is sunny. Bye-bye! See you again. Don't forget like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.